I was reading in my Bible this morning in Luke chapter 24, after Jesus' resurrection, when he met his disciples on the road to Emmaus. He was talking with them, and he said to them in Luke 24, 46, Thus it is written, and thus it was necessary for the Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day. The resurrection, we understand why that had to happen, to prove that he was God's son and to vindicate his claims that he was holy and pure and blameless. But why did he have to suffer? Suffering's something none of us enjoy doing. The Bible tells us that even though Jesus endured the cross, despising the shame, he's now sat down at the right hand of the throne of majesty on high. But why did he have to suffer? The question is very simple, because of your sins. You see, your sins grieve a holy God. I hear a lot of the time where people will just say, just trust Jesus or ask for forgiveness from God and you'll be saved. That's not exactly what's going on. Jesus paid a penalty on the cross. The Bible tells us in 2 Corinthians 5, verse 21, that God made him, Jesus, who knew no sin, to become sin for us, that we might become the righteousness of God in him. There was an absolute, complete exchange offered on the cross. Jesus paid the penalty for your sins in that three hours while the sun went dark, and he suffered and he died there. He suffered because sin is grievous, and it's, it's disgusting to a holy God. But God the Father is not Godfather. He didn't just punish his son. He was accomplishing something. He's calling you to repent of your sins, not to just recite them, but to believe in Jesus, that he is able to pay the penalty of your sins and secure for you everlasting life and then a resurrection from the dead, just as Jesus did. The Bible tells us that if you If he who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, that's the Holy Spirit, then he also will raise your mortal bodies from the dead through Christ Jesus, that's Romans 8, 11. I encourage you, trust in Jesus today. You will not be put to shame.